Okay. Uh, someone asked me a while ago, a few days ago, on my YouTube channel, if I could show my uh, AR9X board inside my, my uh, Tunigi, Tunigi uh, 9X radio. Which is upgraded, they have uh, upgraded with, with a few mods like encoder, three way switch, replace a two way switch with a three position switch, slider on the side. Uh, terrain is gimbals, four push buttons on the back. This is very good for voice prompts or for do some stuff like turning lights on and off and stuff. Uh, this is a multi protocol module, and here is a free sky module as internal. This one was external. So I said, uh, he asked me if I could show the internals of my radio. I can, I'm gonna remove the battery. It's always safe to remove the battery when you open your radio. So there you go. Here, there's a SD card. You can see the, the, the memory card in there. So yeah, so it easily accessed. Here, instead of the charge plug, we got a uh, the ARNX port doesn't support charging, so you have to support to charge your battery out of the radio, or you make a cable in case of a NIMS nickel metal hybrid uh, nickel metal hybrid, hybrid uh, batteries. <laughs> I can never say this. You can just make a another charging cable and put it there. So, but it is the USB micro USB uh, connection, so you can connect it to the computer. So let's see what is really inside. He asked me if I could show the insides. So I open the radio. I disconnect here the plug. Okay. And disconnect, and that's what you got. So I'm going to disconnect here. This is this is charging. Yeah, I made a charging um, plug and. Uh, this is control the vibrators, motors, haptic. And this is a charger, let me disconnect. And this is the PPM2 that controls, that goes to, there's a signal for the FreeSky internal ray, internal module that you got, you see here, the FreeSky internal module. This is something I will explain in a minute, something new that I'm testing. So I start by the back of the radio. <coughs> you can see there's one, one uh, vibrator motor here, one haptic motor, and another one here, besides. Uh, the AR9X uh, board already control, already has the haptic driver for this, these motors uh, on it, so you don't have to add any extra circuitry. Here are the boards for my four push buttons, as you can see. And uh, and this, I think that this is the, the connection here, okay, for my four push buttons. Now this is the, for the four push buttons, this is for the haptic. haptic. This here is new, is something I'm testing now. Uh, yeah, I didn't release the the project yet, but I'm still testing this. What this does is um, there's an option on the ER, ER, ER Skylinex firmware that you can turn off the modules, off or on can control the power to the mod that's for the models that's what this board does uh, when you turn it off turn the signal the ppm off for the module this will detect that the ppm signal is missing and turns the power off to the module the same for the external so this can control both models here as soon as you put turn it on and start some signal whatever is serial or ppm this will detect it and turn the module on so if the signal disappears, it will turn the module off. This is cool because it doesn't need any more pins from the processor of the radio, and you can use them for other cool stuff like switches and pods and stuff like that. Okay, this is the back of the radio. <coughs> Nothing else to say here. Let's put it there. <coughs> and this here is my... This is the... 
AR non export IR AR non export installed in my radio. So I got here got RTC real time clock connects to the board. Here is the side that has the USB connection and the SD card for the voice files and firmware files and whatever. Got here. Here I have an, the slider connected. There's two analog, analog ports here. The slider and I use the third one for my uh, three position switch, which is the elevator switch, but instead of two positions, I have three positions. And it uses this uh, analog input here. Here, I control uh, what is this here? Ah, this is the, 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 the four push buttons. Here, you can use this to control four push buttons on the on the back of the radio or whatever you can make two position switches or you can change uh, use them for changing uh, two position switches into three position switches so you can get any of these here switches and use one of these uh these uh one or all depending of these uh inputs digital inputs here to uh, uh connect uh, to, to transform two position switch in three position switches or just add just add uh, two more po uh, two position switches as I did I did I added four of them in the back there are four inputs that you can use for whatever you like here a bit hidden you can see there's the antenna here this is my Bluetooth <coughs> this is a Bluetooth uh, dongle that is connected here you can see here connected here so what does the, the why uh, what for you can use this you can use this to uh, send for example telemetry to your um, Android phone there's a program I think it's called free sky dashboard or something like that and you can send the telemetry there you can see it on your phone or tablet or your sky X has a very cool feature that many people don't know which is you can have trainer over Bluetooth. You can teach someone to fly wireless over Bluetooth with two ER Sky 9X radios. And this is cool. I've tested, I'm teaching my son to fly like that, and it works wonderfully. Okay, the range is not so great, but normally when you teach someone to fly, you just stay near each other, right? So there's no problem. There's enough range for that. You can test it anyway. Um, that's basically it. Next, I'm going to change change the switchboard here with one my little project, which is at the moment if you switch fail, if your main switch fail, the radio will turn off, and even if it makes contact again, it doesn't turn on again. That happens to all the radios, uh, uh, and that's not good. Obviously, if it 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 uh, happens in flight, fortunately, this doesn't hap doesn't happen very often, and happened to me not in flight but at home. Happened with my other radio, one of my radios, and yeah, I know that happened as well. Also, not f while flying uh, to one of the forum members. But if this happens while flying, you probably will lose your model. So what I want to do with this, there's some circuitry here that what this does is if the switch fails in flight, your radio will still be on. It won't turn off. So this is I'm looking for. I'm going to install this today. And see what happens. So, one more glance at my RNNX. RNNX. Uh, did I mention the encoder here? Yeah, nice name. Seven way encoder with four directional uh, switches like the original. A plus one center button here and a wheel. This makes it really nice to program the radio. And you can use the wheel also as control in ears kind of next to the radio. So, this is the Terranis gimbals. 
these are the trainings gimbals i put a dab of hot glue here obviously so it doesn't because they have some some of them uh some people reported that these uh wires here broken in some of them they ship now with this tape here above them or on the on the cables but as a safety measure i put i carved a little hole here for the 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 cable to get in there and just put a dab of hot glue and they don't move whatsoever as you can see they won't move the cables only move here don't move there so it's terrain gimbals very nice very precise and uh here is the glance another glance of my oops of my an export with all my modes all my modes there you go Good, so, see you somewhere, and thanks for watching.